What is up, Flavor Family? It's Bobby, and today we are gonna rock a Southern-inspired barbecue chicken meal prep that is seriously next level. The chicken is gonna be crispy as can be, painted with a white barbecue sauce, but whoever thought you can't eat beans on keto, you're wrong, because I found a bean that is low-carb, Keto friendly, we're gonna cook it with bacon and veggies and it's gonna be so darn good. We're basically having a Southern barbecue keto style, so let's rock it. Spice crusted bone-in skin on chicken thighs, seared in a pan until extremely crispy, then oven roasted to cook it through, and then painted on with a tangy Alabama white barbecue sauce with lemon and vinegar, and served with creamy black beans cooked in bacon, onions, veggies, and spinach. So here's the deal. If you're looking for healthy recipes that actually have flavor, you have found the best meal prepping channel on YouTube. Click that old subscribe button and better yet, push that cute little bell right below and you'll get a push notification every Friday when Desi and I go live. Actually, you're gonna get more than every Friday because starting very soon, we're doing two videos a week. If you're excited about that, click that thumbs up because I am stoked. All right, let's start this recipe with 10 bone on skin on chicken thighs in front of me. Before we get these in the hot cast iron pan, we're gonna make a very simple barbecue spice rub to dust on top of that. So let's grab smoked paprika and cayenne pepper. I'm gonna add a teaspoon and a half of smoked paprika to a bowl and about a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. First off, add a generous pinch of salt and then shake over a good amount of the spice rub. Somebody remind me to add uh, the smoked paprika to my shopping list because that is the bottom of the barrel and for me being out of smoked paprika is an emergency. All right, I'm not gonna season the other side until they go in the pan. Speaking of the pan, I have two cast iron pans here preheating over medium high heat. I'm doing two because I don't wanna overcrowd the pan. We're trying to make the crispiest skin chicken possible. And if you put more than five into the pan, you're gonna lower the temperature and it's gonna be soggy and kind of boiling their own juices. So let's preheat these over medium high heat. And then trivia, Brandon, from last week, why did I bring my, my chicken to room temperature for 20 minutes before we're gonna cook them in the pan? Saturate and take the chill off. You put cold chicken in the hot pan, once again, lower the temperature, and this is about crispy, crispy skin. So let's add a couple teaspoons of avocado oil to the pan. You could also use grapeseed oil. Once oil goes in the pan, wait another 30 seconds because even though the pan is hot, the oil's not. Perfect. That's the sound you want. If it's not sizzling, yank it out, wait 30 seconds, and then go back in. Once the chicken's in the pan, salt the other side and be generous. You want that salt to carry all the way through the chicken here. Brandon saw my next move here. He said you use these a lot. Splatter guards. Go ahead and slap one down on the front and one down on the back. I've never seen anyone really use them. Well, I do it to make my life easier for the cleanup. Amazon links down below if you don't have it. This is a Flav City must have. All right, this technique, actually, I gotta give credit to Bon Appetit. I read it in their magazine maybe like six or eight months ago. Uh, it's basically for making the crispiest skin chicken you could ever get without frying. We're gonna cook them eight minutes like this, transfer them to a 475 degree oven, which is really hot, for another five or eight minutes, then flip it over and let them cook through. You basically get like chicharron style chicken skin. It's gonna be crazy. All right, so let's let it do its thing for 10 minutes. Oh, before I forget, it's giveaway time. We haven't done a giveaway on the channel in like a year. So my buddy Rachel over from the Stay at Home Chef and myself have partnered with Zwilling to give away three sets of cookware to three lucky winners. All you have to do to enter is click the giveaway link down below in the description box. It takes you to the landing page. Using that page, you subscribe to her channel. You subscribe to my channel and you are entered to win. Share it with your friends and good luck. There's gonna be three different winners. All right, it's been eight minutes. The smell in here is starting to smell pretty good. Brandon approves. Let's check for the color on the chicken skin. Ooh. <laughs> Did you hear Brandon? Look at that golden brown, yes. Absolutely. Let's check one more just to make sure, because sometimes you gotta like move them around and play a little game of switcher. Oh, oh no, he didn't. Look at that. Now you could do this in a nonstick pan, but not gonna be as good, right? We're making American barbecue. You gotta do it in, well, American cast iron pan is back there. That one's 40 bucks. This one's French cast iron, it's 150. I like my kitchen toys, but you can get either one you want. All right, oven's preheating at 475. Let's leave the chicken skin side down and chuck them in the oven. 
All right, you guys, while the chicken's doing its thing for 10 minutes on the clock, I'm gonna get started on the bacony black beans. I'm preheating a large pot here over medium heat. So I have two ounces or one slice of very thick cut bacon. I cubed it, go ahead, add it to the pan. And usually when I start bacon, I like to add a little shot of oil just to kind of coax it along. So go in with a teaspoon of avocado oil. Okay, while we're waiting for the bacon to do its magic, we can work on the Alabama white barbecue sauce. Brennan, you're from the South. Have you ever seen a, or had a Alabama white barbecue sauce? No, it's actually my first time. Me too. Nothing like two guys never having a barbecue sauce making it on YouTube, right? You gotta trust them. Uh, but it's really simple. It's, like, it's very similar to like a mayo dressing that we've made many old times here. And the main ingredient is mayonnaise. So. Use full fat mayonnaise that has no sugar. Sugar will up the carbs, it's a filler, you don't need it. So I'm gonna use about a half a cup, add that to the bowl here. I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel here for every last drop. Even if you are trying to lose weight, using low fat mayonnaise, they pump it full of sugar. So you're actually not eating less fat, you're eating more fat because the starch or the sugar is converted to fat in your body. So always do full fat mayo. To that, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of stone ground mustard or Dijon mustard. Then directly grate one clove of garlic into the bowl. I like to use the microplaner because see what it does? It kind of breaks it down into a pulp and just hit it into the bowl. Then add about a teaspoon of prepared horseradish. This is gonna add a nice little spicy fire. And then check out the bacon. Don't forget about that and give it a mix up. Then tip in a couple tablespoons of white vinegar. Cut a lemon in half. Add the juice of half a lemon. A quarter teaspoon of salt. A few cracks of pepper. Give that a nice whisk up. Now look at that texture, right? It's a little thick, but a little pourable. And that's gonna be great to kind of like drench all over the chicken. All right, speaking of the chicken, it's been 10 minutes. Let's flip it over. Beautiful, look at that crust, you guys. That is just like the definition of golden brown and delicious and crispy and crusty. And then keep the splatter guard on there and let it go another three minutes. All right, let's just check the flavor of our white barbecue sauce because I want it to be tangy and really zippy to kind of cut through the fat on that chicken. Woo, that is zippy city. Brandon, try this out. It's like not your typical sweet barbecue sauce because that's not keto, but it's like, it's Alabama style, right? We're gonna have that rich chicken and that fatty skin. And this is gonna kind of like balance out the richness of that. It's good. good. All right. So we're going to pour that on the chicken when it comes out and then we'll get cracking on the rest of the beans here. All right. That was the last three minutes. This is very, very hot of the chicken. And oh, check that out, you guys. First of all, the smell, the smell of the spices and then the chicken fat rendering. It smells like a fry shack in here, but we didn't fry, right? We mimicked the fry to get the closest you can get to deep fat frying. The chicken looks unbelievable. You could stick a probe thermometer in there if you're not sure it's done, or you can just kind of poke the dark meat. If it feels firm, but has a little give, it's done. But it's way too hot to garnish now or top with the uh, barbecue sauce. It's way too hot to cut into. So I'm gonna put it back here. And all we have to do, my friends, is finish up on the bacony beans, and we're done. So check out the bacon. It's rendered really, really nicely. It's golden brown. All that fat has come out. Next up, add a quarter cup of red onions that are finely diced to the pan, along with a pinch of red pepper flakes for heat. Then add a quarter teaspoon of salt and a couple cracks of black pepper and give it a mix up. Now, that is gonna do its thing for just a couple minutes. Now, let's get to the big reveal, the beans. Right? Beans are starchy, beans are carby, but there is one bean you could have, and this is it. They're black soybeans. Somebody told me, one of you guys actually told me about it like months ago and I just slept on it until recently. I got a big five pound can on Amazon and I started playing with it. So what I did is I soaked the beans 24 hours in water with a little bit of salt, put them in the pressure cooker or the instant pot for nine minutes with a pinch of salt and this is what happens. They come out, they're nice and soft and they're just like black beans and think of the possibilities, right? We're gonna make kind of baked beans. Maybe in a future video, we can do uh, refried beans. You can now have beans on keto. It's super, super exciting. So if you want to get these black beans, of course, I'll hook you up with the Amazon link down below. Next up, go in with two cloves of garlic that are finely minced. Mix that up and then add the black soybean. So all in all, that's about two and a half cups of cooked black soybeans. They do sell them at the store. I think it's a brand called Eden Organic. But canned beans, number one, the texture pales in comparison to dried and cooked beans. And canned beans, they make you fart. They just do, they're sitting in that starchy liquid for God knows how long. If you have time, pressure cook them, instant pot cook them, or I think traditionally in a pot, it would take a good three to four hours because they are tough beans to break down. All right, 
Beans are in the pot. Let's add a little bit of chicken stock here. I'm just gonna cook it for about 10 minutes so those beans can kind of absorb the flavor of the bacon and onions. Some of those beans are gonna burst and make the sauce very thick, and then we'll kill it with a little bit of spinach and a few more seasonings, and we're done. After about 10 minutes, let's grab a large handful of spinach, and give that a rough chop, and then add it to the pan, and then splash in a tablespoon of coconut amino acids and about a half a teaspoon of toasted sesame oil. Now, we're not taking like an Asian left turn here at all. Those are ingredients that I love to add, like coconut aminos and toasted sesame, that add a depth of flavor to the party. Not Asian, it's just like really, really rich umami flavor. You hear that word all the time. That's what these guys do. If you weren't doing keto, you can just use low sodium soy sauce. All right, the last ingredient in here is gonna be a few tablespoons of chopped red bell peppers because I love the contrast of fresh, crunchy vegetables and cooked vegetables together. Go ahead and add that to the pan. So one last mix up. Now look at that color, that's cool, right? We got the green, we got the red, we got the black beans. They say that you eat with your eyes first and if that is true, I'm excited to try that right now. Delicious. I got that crunchy red pepper. The beans are soft and creamy, a little salty bacon, but I do want a pinch more of salt. Give it one last mix up. My friends, we have done it. We have earned the right to build a plate of this meal prep and try it out. Let's do it. Grab a nice healthy scoop of the black beans, place that down on a plate, then grab a couple of the pieces of the chicken. Those look amazing. And then paint that white barbecue sauce all over. Go as crazy as you want. Top it off with some parsley and we're done. All right, you guys, there it is. Come on, low carb, southern barbecue, keto meal prep and like a boss. You're eating black beans on keto. I mean, you gotta be stoked about that. They're cooked in bacony broth. There's lots of vegetables in there and that chicken. This chicken with the skin, the spices and that beautiful white barbecue sauce. Normally what they would do, they would smoke the whole chickens like in a smokehouse and then dunk them in a huge vat of white barbecue sauce, continue cooking them. And then at the end, another dipsy do dunkaroo. All right, let's try this. Mmm, yes. Oh my God. I'm from the South, guys. I'm from Florida, by the way, in case you didn't know. Southern chicken is definitely one of our specialties down there, and I can honestly say right now, this is some of the best I've had. And done in keto style, too. Bobby, you did such a great job. Thank you, my friend. This is a good one. You guys gotta definitely make this. You gotta make this. It. It's gonna be delicious. If Brandon says that, you gotta do it. I got tons of stuff coming down my chin right now. I don't even care. This is how we do it in the smokehouse. You guys, the recipe is down below crush the recipe, review it on our website. Their macros are down there, the storage, the reheating, all that brilliant stuff. Um, share this video. Sharing is caring. If you wanna see two more videos, they're streaming below me right now, but we'll see you very, very soon. Until then, hashtag, keep on eating and cooking, baby. Mm. Oh God.